Olympic feel and spirit back in Atlanta. And Galen Rupp has got that Olympic feeling. Look at that. He has left this field behind. And Riley, we said we'd keep an eye on him. Riley has caught this trio for a shot at a spot in Tokyo. Well, that's him in the background there, right? A picture. In fact, Riley there in the... Uh... Yes, in fifth place. And he is coached by an old mate of mine, Lee Troop, an Australian who was a world-class 5,000-meter runner and marathon runner. Uh, lives in Boulder... Colorado, 32 years old. Jake Riley is uh, producing here the performance that his coach was telling me in the uh, bar a couple of nights ago. He thinks he's capable. He said he thinks he's in 208 shape. And there is Riley right up alongside the two Army athletes. And doesn't he look strong, Craig? Looks fantastic. And what an amazing race. It'll be so interesting to hear what was going through his mind when he was 40, 50 seconds off the pace working his way back through the field and he's now worked his way into second place in this race only 15th at the 2016 marathon trials also ran in the track trials where he was 12th in the 10,000 meters but interestingly he had the same operation for Haglund syndrome as Galen Rupp and both of them have talked about what a difficult operation it is to come back. It's a growth on the back of the heel, a bony protrusion that then affects the Achilles tendon. And he mani he's managed to come back from that. And Galen Rupp, as we've seen, putting together really an amazing race on what we called at the beginning of the day one of the toughest courses in the world. There's the Capitol building. but. Uh... Riley missed two years of competition completely. He didn't have any com competitions in 2017 or 2018. So to come back from this is astonishing. And there was a great quote from him, which we're all still trying to decipher. He said, I had months and months of feeling like 10 pounds of dirt in a five pound bag. Now there's a, an enigma wrapped up in a mystery. <laughs> it sounds like, like an English uh, statement of some sort. So we'll rely on you to figure it out. As Abdi Abdurrahman, the 43 year old, veteran trying to make his fifth Olympic team has put in yet another surge. Well, I think he's trying to break uh, with Riley, break the Army athletes. One more mile to go, guys. Final mile for this man here, Galen Rupp. Let's check in with Lewis Johnson. Lewis. Well, Lee, the gloves literally just came off for Galen Rupp, and two lucky fans were able to pick him up, one each, as Galen Rupp is on his way to make another Olympic team. I love Tim's comment about glorious isolation, because that's what it's been for Rupp over the last several miles as he has taken over the lead of this race. But I got to tell you, um, he just got a water bottle not too long ago, and I thought I saw a smile come up on his face, because remember the big gap? four meters or so behind when he was able to catch Brian Schrader. As he did so, when he approached the next water station, Rupp missed his important water bottle, so he didn't get it. He didn't get the fluids he needed. He just got the last one, and now Rupp is looking so strong, so fit, but so every step, he's just so focused at what's happening. I don't think he's allowed himself to enjoy it yet, even though he has a massive lead. When he came back from surgery and participated in the Chicago Marathon, he said, oh, perhaps I was too stubborn, perhaps I wanted to do it as a mark instead of listening to my body and and I and I didn't perform the way I should I didn't finish where I should and that was a big message it was a big message to myself and I listened and I had to take the time to get myself back to where I needed to be at peak form for this event for these US Olympic marathon trials well he is in peak form you know it's easy to forget Galen Rupp has run a 350 mile indoors I mean he is incredibly quick over the mile over 1500 meters only Bernard Lagat in this race is quicker than him and in the last mile now He's up on his toes. He's looking quite majestic. And he took, you know, I, I took him aside after we spoke to him as a group yesterday. I said, what, what makes you so confident? Why are you sure that you're back? He said, well, after I ran that 101 half marathon, a couple days later, we went to the track. I did 20 times 400 in 60 seconds. That's the kind of workout he used to do when he was training for races as short of a, as a mile. He said, that's what gave me the confidence, Mike Smith, my coach tells me I'm ready, I believe it. And that speed combined with his strength, don't forget, he said after he ran that 61 minute half marathon, he did a session afterwards to accumulate 24 miles of training, nearly a marathon, so he did another 11 miles. And we asked him what the workout was, and he went, nah, that'll be my secret. I don't blame him, I guess, but you know, the, the, the 
the effort that he puts in this sub whole philosophy of putting in hard session after a race is totally new back in the 1980s when you and i were racing craig that would have been considered more or less insane galen rupp is almost there what a phenomenal performance frank shorter got back to back Olympic marathon trials in the early 70s and mid 70s, 72, 76, and Rupp could emulate that right here today in Atlanta. He's going for it right at the end here. He said one of the things he likes about his new coach is that he's straightforward with him. He's not going to beat around the bush. He's not going to sugarcoat things. He just tells him, and Galen has been listening. New relationship that has formed and formed very well and successfully so. Fight is on for that third and final spot. If you look at the right-hand side of your screen, Riley and Abdurrahman. They're in those all-important top three positions at the moment. And remember how hard that last mile is. We were looking at the topography of that mile. The last mile has a big uphill and then a very significant downhill coming to the finish line. And they seem to have that second and third spot in hand, but you can't count on anything given what these runners have to face over the latter part, the very last part of this race. Well, this is the sort of run, the sort of quality of run, and you can see Rupp projecting himself from this performance to uh, maybe another medal in Tokyo. Don't want to put it around his neck just yet, but I think we can put this win around his neck. But from uh, Rupp, it is normal service resumed. It's great to see. You saw the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the background there, home of the Atlanta Falcons, and Rupp is coming in. They're going to finish right. He's going to finish right behind us here. You'll hear the crowd. Special uh, area for the family and friends. Galen Rupp as the cheers go up. He's going to do it not only in Los Angeles. Galen Rupp, the 33-year-old, is going to do it here on the streets of Atlanta, Georgia, to guarantee himself a spot at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games this summer. What a performance. When he surged to the front a little earlier in this race, caught the pack, and then he eased back a little bit. It was a very sensible, it was a very measured performance and then when he started to feel in his own he just took off he left everybody behind coming down beside the omni hotel this is it final stretch galen rupp is going to see the finish line momentarily here a feeling that he experienced in very hot conditions in la four years ago cold breezy conditions here in atlanta georgia two very very different olympic marathon trials but galen rupp has done The men's Olympic marathon trial, phenomenal performance. And look at this fight for the third and final spot. Can Jacob Riley hang on from Leonard Korea? This is going to be tight. Well, Riley's a very classy track runner as well. He's great run great 10,000s on the track. Surely he's got the power and speed here. Who's going to be the unlucky fourth place or the worst place to finish? Abdi Abdurrahman now concedes second spot to Jacob Riley. Leonard Career is giving it all he's got in these closing stages. Galen Rupp is saying, come on, guys, I'm waiting for you. Who am I going to get on the plane to Tokyo with? Riley is going, and so is 43-year-old Abdi Abdurrahman. What a performance. A personal best for Riley in these conditions. What an amazing race to put together. Well, I'll tell you what, I've seen Lee Troop worth for wear after a marathon in uh, one or two marathon bars, but when he was talking to me last night and he said he thinks that Riley's in 208 shape, I really didn't know what to think. Well, he was dead right because 2.10.02 on this course, that second place time, has got to be worth two or three minutes, if not more. And Abdi in the team. You see him gesturing the number five, his fifth Olympic team, twice in the marathon, three times in the 10,000 meters. What an amazing race he ran. You know, it was never easy for him. You know, each time he seemed to break away, others went with him. We'll check in with the women's when we come back. They're at the almost at the 21 and a half mile stage, but it's Galen Rupp. He's done it again. 
back-to-back -back wins in the Olympic marathon trials, and he's got another shot at another Olympic medal.